welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and also hit the like button the thumbs up button hit the like thumbs up hmm what up the button that looks like this <laughs> i'm so excited i just came back from italy and the mediterranean sea and i am so excited to show everyone all the wonderful experience and food that i got to eat I am breaking up my vlogs into chunks so if you haven't yet, go watch the one in Pisa! If you haven't seen it, go watch it in the link below. Let's get started! Oh yeah, don't forget to stay tuned for all the other vlogs that's coming up. Let's go! Rubbery on the outside and crunchy, but it, it's really it's a good texture. It's like a hot hot. You bite into it, gush hot, but it's really really good. It's perfectly salty. This dish must come in. Huge octopus with the planta. I guess they're famous for planta. They put planta on it. Mm -hmm. The seasoning is like perfect. Yay. 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 Perfectly seasoned. Texture is nice and tender. This is a delight. Mm. Mm, so good. First thing we did was squeeze through the standing room only bar and headed to the cashier. There we picked random crostinis by pointing out whatever looked good. I got prosecco and barillo. If you don't want to stand with the crowd, you can sit outside too. I think the prices might be a little higher though. When you order, they ask if you wanted to sit outside. I'm guessing that's where the extra price is added. And then once you get everything, you bring your food outside to eat. How good this is. It's such a long line for this. It's kind of funny, they cut it into little squares. The cheese is really good. And the dough is like a regular dough. Okay. Everything is good, but nothing special that I would crave. Not too bad. Cafe <laughs> Foreign opened in 1720. It is the only coffee house that's still operating today. It's incredible how well maintained this place is. Their service was not very attentive. We were not greeted when we walked in, so was a bit confused if it was self seating. And then it took forever to flag someone down to get our bill. Not what I was expecting at such an expensive place. Salmon peas. Hi. Uh, is it worth 11 euro? Mm. <laughs> Maybe the caviar adds a little touch to it. It is good though. Mm. This is so good. So creamy. And I kind of taste like caramel, the morning chocolate. It's 
This is really good. It's like super clean. Perfect temperature. It's not, it's not sweet at all. You see the sugar that if you want it sweeter, you can just add into it. But it's perfect. And then give you a little biscuits to dip in it. I'm in chocolate heaven. I feel like uh, uh, it's this group drinking the chocolate fountain. Mm. It's so good. Everything here is perfect. I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> That's not what my husband is thinking. <laughs> So good. I feel like this is better than the one in France. Well, in Paris. Angelina. Oh, yeah, in Paris. Angelina, I think that's his name. Angelina. Yeah. Angelini. Angelina. Angelina. Angelica. Angelica. This is so much better than that. I was so disappointed when I I tried that one. I was so disappointed. It is so good. Heaven. Heaven. I think he wants something. He's looking at me. <laughs> right. Can't dig into this hair me soon. Oh my god. Alright, let's dig in. It's like a hard shell. Right. So it's like chocolate shell. That's not hard. It's like creamy. Oh, it's ice cream inside. It's like a frozen cream. I can see that this would be too creamy, too rich for me. It's like a layer of cake on the bottom, which should be baby fingers. But it doesn't look like little baby fingers. It looks more like a biscuit. Or like a, a cake. If you gave me this and didn't tell me what it was, I would not think it was tiramisu. It's just like a chocolate cake. This one, I thought it was just okay. I would pass on this. Your star is the chocolate drinks. Both of them was delicious. Oh, wow, the place is huge in there. That place was really good. It's really expensive. All the stuff we got at the end, it came out to be like 50 bucks? 60 bucks? 50 euros. 50 euros. Crazy expensive, but it was totally what we were so good. Okay, next up, let's go. Marvin and all you do is basically get lost, walk around into different small tunnels like this one, and you basically just enjoy. Your surroundings don't really need an itinerary. I didn't have anything, so we were just walking around and then whatever we found that looked good, we just ate. And so far, it has worked really well. Everything we ate was pretty decent. But man, this wall is so old, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> This looks like a fast food spaghetti place. Everyone was outside the door, so I'm like, I wish I could. Nope, this is good. This is so good. No type of hot. This is the first hot thing we had all trip long. It is really, really good. I'm not sure. So, Getty is cooked perfectly. Not like the ones in Florence. And the meat is a little meat is perfect. 
It's not too salty. It's just perfect. Everything about this is so perfect. And it's super, super cheap. You don't need to go to a restaurant some fancy restaurant for a good weekend. Like I had last night. That was good. The seafood definitely is good there. But if you're just gonna get a regular simple spaghetti, this place is bomb. Oh my god, this is so good. You must try it here.
we decided to go to a local's favorite called 6342 Alatol. The place was packed and we were told that there would be no way to seat us without a reservation. The hostess said that if we didn't want pizza, we could perhaps try their sister restaurant 5 minutes down the street and still have a nice pasta dinner. We got lucky and snatched the last table available at their sister restaurant. It was a dark and intimate restaurant with a live violin and beautiful tables. Since we were in Venice, we wanted to try some seafood dishes as well as their famous handmade pastas. We ordered the raw shrimp appetizer. The shrimp was unlike anything I've ever had. It was sweet, succulent, and melted in your mouth. The black spaghetti was cooked to al dente perfection and had plenty of fresh seafood. 6342 pasta was packed with flavor and the sauce was rich and filled with herbs. It was really good. The only problem was it was a little salty, over salty. I guess that's the way they like their food here. I can learn to appreciate that. <laughs> Fresh pasta, I feel like, makes a huge difference. They have two locations, so one is too full. And if you didn't make reservations, they were more than happy to take you to the second restaurant to see if they had space there. And we were really, really lucky that there was Walk space. south on Calle Brazana towards Fundamental Building. <laughs> But we were super lucky that we got the last two tables and everyone behind us had to wait. Okay, it's like really, really cold and at night here. So remember to bring a jacket. A thick jacket. 